E. Engines. That's really the heart of the car. This year we've got a big regulation change, so going from a V8 to a V6 engine with a turbocharger and an energy recovery system on it is very, very different. And of course sounds quite a bit different. The fuel consumption as well will not be easy this year because we will have a lot less fuel during all the races. A critical element and the integration of the engine and the cooling of the engine is one of the big challenges for the 2014 season. F. Flyaways. Obviously, Formula One happens uh, everywhere around the world. Uh, to get there, you need to jump on a plane. Uh, F could also stand for frequent traveller. Yeah, logistically, it's hard for the teams. You know, they have to pack all the cars, all the equipment in, in containers, basically. They have to be very organised and precise, but uh, it's part of the fun. G. Gears. Compared to the normal road car, uh, when you shift up the gears in Formula 1, it is uh, way quicker. We've got eight this year, as if it wasn't hard enough with seven. Uh, but one more, you know, trying to get all that, uh, that power down. We are not allowed anymore to change the, the ratios during the year. So, for instance, in uh, Monza, we would use all eight gears, and in Monaco, we would use only six gears because the speed at the end of the straight would be much lower. H. So, H for helmet. With the helmet, you can definitely recognize the driver inside the car and it uh, reflects your personality. When I was young, I had a couple of favorites, uh, such as Senna, but also quite like Damon Hill. Michael Schumacher with some stars on the top. I keep changing my designs nearly every race. It's definitely something you can play with. A nice way to yeah, express myself. <laughs> <laughs>